It's 9.01. The breaking news overnight that we have a store worker was killed in Benicia during a robbery. Yeah, this morning, police are still looking for the person who killed him. Crown Force Sarah Stinson is live in Benicia with the latest for us this morning. And Sarah, last we talked to you, you had the breaking news that the person who died was the owner of that store. Yeah, and I just talked with Benicia police. They also confirmed that the man who was shot and killed at Rose Market in Benicia was the owner of the market. And the, the police officer I just spoke with, he said, this is a hit to the community. Many people knew this man. He was in his 60s. He was trying to make a living for his family while serving his community with that market. And he was killed overnight. Let's take a look at where his market is at. And by the way, there's still no shooter in custody. They're working right Right now to locate identify and arrest that person in the map you can see exactly where Rose Market is located in Benicia and that is on the corner of Columbus Parkway and Rose Drive it's a little shopping center right off of 780 Benicia police responded silent alarm at the market the owner you know put that silent alarm on and just after 10 last night he was shot and killed police say officers arrived two minutes after that silent alarm went off and found the market employee or the owner with a gunshot wound paramedics tried to save him but he died on scene there the shooter was nowhere to be found and they've been looking for the shooter ever since looking at surveillance video trying to identify who this person is the chief of police says they are deeply saddened by this senseless act of violence and so is the friend of the owner he stopped by this morning he thought maybe it was an employee he was trying to figure out what was going on tried calling the owner himself but of course got no answer and the answer he got was devastating oh miserable it's sad he was just working hard to feed his uh, you know educate his family uh, kids and family you know he, he wasn't bothering nobody i don't know it's and sad so you hear And he was just saying that he was trying to pay for his kids' education, trying to, you know, put food on the dinner table for the family. He was a religious man, and he was one that cared about his community of Benicia. Now, just talking with police, they said that they are still working to try and figure out who's responsible. This is the second homicide of the year, and this is not a typical thing for Benicia. It's usually a quiet city. Does, they don't usually have these types of violent crimes. And by the way, Daria James, the friend we just heard from, he owns his own type of shop for the 30, 35 years down the street in Vallejo. He said he has been robbed several times at gunpoint. He always gives the money. This time, the owner was robbed, and we just found out from police that it was about money, and they got money. And all for what? A life lost. It's devastating for the family and for the community. Back oh, to you. So sad. Absolutely. Thank you very much, Sarah. 905.